They saddle up before sunlight. As soon as we get the warmth. And quickly get on the move. We're gonna do our best to get that individual off the street. We definitely want to start early, catch them when they least expect it. The U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force, highly trained and on a mission. We're going home to our families, you know, making sure the public's safe. It's 6 a.m. and time is already ticking. Yep, good to go. Zeroing in on their target. Yeah, good intel, so the guy should be here that we're looking for. It's a suspect wanted on felony charges for domestic assault. They don't have addresses, you know, they like to hide, um, stay in hotels. And a hotel is exactly where they believe their suspect is hiding just after 6 a.m. The team rolls in quick, heading right to where their intel's leading them. Police department with the warrant. Open the door. Do it now. We will break the door down. Part of the team lined at the door with others watching from the side. To cover all areas, you know, in case, say, they're not in, in that room. They may be in an adjacent room or something like that. You know, they on approach, they want to try to run out. You know, so we want to have all exit points, you know, covered. It takes one minute. They've got their man. Target's in custody. Good intel leading to a safe ending for both sides. One other guy out the street. And as they take their first suspect into custody, the day is only just getting started. You know, getting the bad guy, you know, that comes after safety. So we'll do what we need to do. But if they come to the door and open the door, we'll take it how they give it to us, you know. <laughs> It's definitely rewarding work. Like you help help fighting help fighting crime. Terrence Joyner has been a deputy U.S. Marshal for 11 years. I, I definitely enjoy what I do. And today, he's supervising a team made up of officers from local departments and the Maryland State Police. So we're probably gonna go canvas. Okay. Canvas has known areas. Whose expertise helped drive the search for these wanted suspects. So I have a feeling he's around the Patapsco area. And with very little downtime, task force heads out again. Got a canvas area. Their search this time is for a man wanted for sex crimes. We'll see if we can catch him. But before our cameras arrive, the team in front of us All right. picked him up without issue. Like he was waiting for the bus, so they just got here in time to, to grab him. Another success, but as we learned later in the day, they don't all come easy. I'll be sitting on the corner of West, West, and then this joiner, I'm in the area as well. Here in West Baltimore. Sometimes it's just about sitting and watching, seeing what you see. The team is now canvassing a neighborhood, waiting and watching, hoping to make their third arrest of the day. Sometimes you can be out here a couple of minutes. Sometimes you can be out here a couple of hours. And even with a quick break. Do a lot of the sparkling waters. The mind stay sharp zero calories zero sugar <laughs> you gotta you gotta stay hydrated then it's back to the watch but they're trying to stay low-key trying to stay hidden and while that time passed with no sightings here they're gonna keep looking for this guy until they find him. that doesn't mean this will be the end of the team's aggressive search and hopefully that'll be sooner than later Well, this was just a small sampling of what the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force does. They do have members who are out doing research, surveillance, and making arrests on a daily basis, helping to close hundreds of warrants each year and taking violent criminals off the streets. I'm Dan Lamparello, Fox 45 News.